This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. How about this breakdown from the torch of the August 17th edition of impact Jay lethal and Chris Saban and Sanjay Dutt beat Alex, Alex Shelley, Johnny divine and Petey Williams in seven minutes early Earl Hebner dressed in rags, ran into the ring and choked referee slick Johnson with his belt security guards hit the ring, but Hebner showed the strength of 10 men by knocking the security guards to the mat with his belt after the break. A six way brawl ensued. Saban hit divine with a top rope guillotine leg drop for the win star and a quarter Earl Hebner, who has taken a big bump and laid unconscious for several minutes from seemingly nothing at all for years is now back doing his incredible Hulk personation. What do you think of this? Go look at the tape. It wasn't an incredible Hulk. If you see a crazy man, it's like a, um, you ever seen a lady, whether it's in a, I don't know, I'll say a nightclub because, but just go bat shit crazy and just nobody wants to get close to her. You just sort of got a container and like, oh my God, who, who's going to go after this? So Earl with a belt was swinging for the fences. He wasn't hulking up. He wasn't no selling. He hit the ring. He had lost his job storyline and he's pissed off at Slick Johnson and he's just wielding a belt. The very best Earl Hebner can do. It wasn't no Hulkamaniac beating 10 people up. The security guards didn't want to touch him because he's that wild lady with a loaded purse that's trying to just swing for the fences at everybody. So if you go back and watch it, you'll see. So did you ever talk to Earl about how he became uh, available? In depth, I mean, you know, I was there. Um, oh, how he got available? Oh, uh, no. Not in detail. I knew there were some, um, he said, she said, I'll say that. And that was what is, was told to me from not just Earl, but multiple folks. Hey, you may have heard some stuff that, that may or may not, you know, or may not be accurate. And I'm like, Earl, I, I don't want to know. Are you yeah. okay to work with you clear contractually? I'd heard that. And, and as the years went on, you start to hear even more different stories, but me and Earl, Years later did have a conversation. Um, and it was, it was what it was. And you're not going to give us anything. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, Cause I, I don't want to say the, it was about selling bootleg merchandise. You probably know the story better than I do. I've heard the story that they would, you know, create WWE merchandise for the staff. So they would embroider the logo on a hoodie or a whatever, just, and then bring stuff to the office or to this TV for the guys. But I think somebody somewhere perhaps misconstrued that and thought, wait a minute, they're selling bootleg merchandise. Yeah. And I've, I've been told by some folks, oh yeah, they were definitely selling bootleg merch and other guys were saying, no, no, they were just making stuff for the crew using our logos and somebody had an ax to grind. Did you hear something similar? Yes, but I, my, it was my understanding. I mean, Earl and Dave been around forever, forever uh, and paid well, but someone they were connected to that was helping make this, we'll call it office giveaway merch was selling bootleg that had nothing to do with Earl and Dave. Got it. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's sort of the story and, and I didn't care. Yeah. I mean, when you you know, especially during the attitude era, you leave those buildings and you see those guys hawking, uh, Oh yeah. They're just out front with an armful of t-shirts. It's crazy. I tell you what it, um, met, um, so that would have been WrestleMania 2019 Conrad. I left the building really late with Karen and the kids and we're walking out to the rental car and there's still a lot of cars out there, but <clears throat> excuse me. There was a guy that had, I don't say a son, but son, nephew, a, a younger gentleman, probably underage that ha actually had it. And he was trying to sell stuff. Uh, he was, let me not try. He was selling stuff left and right, just as bold as humanly possible. And they looked over at me and I said, can I get two? And the guy said, Hey bro, 
and walked off. <laughs> it's crazy. But bootleg merchandise, it, it exists. But I know one thing, bootleg merchandise is not sold off a cold product. No, it is not. No, it is not. The are step. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.